gather around. This story has been long in the telling, but soon we approach its end. Long ago, the land of Irion fell into a great civil war. The city-states and the races therein all fighting each other for dominance over the land. Only stopping when the great dragon, Dragatha, nearly burned the land to the ground. Thirty years later, a party of adventurers was manipulated by a powerful mind flayer into being the catalyst for another civil war. And in an attempt to wipe Irion clean again and take its power, Dragatha was resurrected and set against them. But history repeated, as the people of Irion banded together once more to slay the dragon. This alone, however, would not save Irion, for the Mind Flayer still lived and schemed to awaken a powerful being known as the Old Voice, capable of doing far more damage than Dragatha ever could. And even without that, the tensions of Irion still remain, with little to no proof that the Mind Flayer even existed. And so our heroes rally together, with companions they have gathered over their long journey, to represent the hopes of Irion, and its last chance to survive an assault that could ravage the land or even the world itself. I won't stand idle. Not while people's lives are at stake. I will not make the same mistakes again. You're my friend. You're my family. And I'll protect you at all costs. The time for civil war is over. Now our fight is for Irion. Together, they will race against time to the sunken city of Yolrum to overcome its challenges and finally confront the Mind Flayer before the world they know is lost forever to his machinations. The road ahead of them is long and perilous, but it is the only chance that the world has if they are to save the Fallen Empires. Last time on Rolling with Remix, Fallen Empires. With the final key retrieved, our heroes realized that this would probably be their last chance to talk to people. And so, after doing some housekeeping with magical items, they made their rounds, talking to everyone, or at least everyone who was still up, before conferring amidst themselves, all talking about their own personal demons and making amends with each other before collecting Ari and unlocking the gate to Castle Yol Room for a final push onward. After the great adamantine gate opened, our hero saw that the way forward was up a steep underground mountain, or along a path leading through several gatehouses. Figuring that climbing the mountain would be risky given the lack of upper body strength of some of the party, and the sheer difficulty of getting full plate armor up a vertical cliff, our heroes decided to go through the gatehouses, using Malathane to scout ahead. Within was some kind of weird eldritch chanting in a language Malathane did not recognize, being echoed by the Mego that were flying to and fro amidst the gatehouse. Malathane used his spider familiar, Anuki, to scout ahead, but a hunched over, wizened, cloaked figure spotted the spider as it climbed up and recognized it instantly as a familiar. Mal attempted to sneak away after this connection, but the Miko caught on to him as he fled, getting right in his face and letting him know, in no uncertain terms, the jig was up. Malafane informed the party that there was a bit of a situation, so Corellian decided to knock on the door, and Momo decided to use Thaumaturgy to knock on the door much louder. Whichever knock got the Miko's attention, they opened the door and beckoned the party to head upstairs into what was converted into a library for this strange hooded figure and his Migo horde. He greeted them pleasantly enough, and said that he had heard so much about the heroes, but was looking forward to meeting them in the flesh. As for who he was, he simply smiled, saying he had a thousand names and a thousand faces, and that they may call him the Whisperer in Darkness. What does the Whisperer in Darkness want with our party? Will they endure this trial and move on to the castle itself? And why is something like the Whisperer in Darkness the first challenge in the castle district? Find out on tonight's episode of Rolling with Remix, Fallen Empires.
Hello and welcome to Rolling with Remix, Fallen Empires. As usual, I am your host, Alex. And with me, as always, is my lovely casting crew of players. We have Atwas. Hello. We have Scott. Hell. And Queen is currently AFK, so we're going to say rude things when she comes back. Fuck. Like Wiener. <gasps> you monster. Save it for when she comes back, at least. Wait, what? What happened? We'll never know. <laughs> what happened? Wiener. Wiener. Oh. Well, you're all under arrest. That's well, I fair. guess this is the end of stream. Bye, everybody. Take me away. All the empires is canceled. All the empires is canceled. I'm going to jail. Wow. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. So, uh, when last we left off, uh, by the way, Jojo will not be joining us today. Uh, they are in Disney World. They've been eaten by Ooh. Mickey Mouse. Oh boy, my favorite seat sits on Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, when last we left off, our heroes were approaching the final ca the final road up to Rancol, going to the castle of Yolrim, and they were waylaid in the gatehouse by something calling itself the Whisperer in Darkness, which I'm sure is going to be just great, especially considering we have five card draws to go through <laughs> this session. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This'll end well. <laughs> It'll be great. It'll be Don't you love great. card draws? I love card draws. Mm. <laughs> crank that music. It's the good stuff. I'm going here. No, well, no, why not? Volume. No, it just wasn't playing, but it is now. All right, so we're we gonna go... Have we gone in? To start uh, talking to him, or are about to go in? You are at the table with him right now. Oh, yeah. yes. Right. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just uh, looking at what the last things that were said were. I'm afraid I do not, I'm not in possession of very many brain cells today, but I will do my best. Mm. Uh, the last thing that was said was the name. The Master of the Amigo. The, the, the Whisper in the Darkness. Whisper in Darkness, okay. Um, I'd say it's a pleasure, then? Hmm. If you wish this to be a pleasurable encounter, then yes, you may call it that. Well... How do pleasurable encounters for you normally go, then? Hmm. Well, pleasurable encounters for me... Let's just say they are on a very different spectrum of pleasure than yours. I'm intrigued. Would you care to elaborate? Absolutely. He holds a hand out, and you <laughs> just feel the squeezing pressure at your mind, Raxidol as your eyes just go wide open and you start seeing visions of incomprehensible things from within the thrust of the earth, from beyond the stars, from dimensions you did not know existed, but now know and they will not stop being known to you. And it hurts like hell. Sweet. <laughs> Would you care to scream for me? Um, is it painful enough to scream? Yes. Then scream he shall. Something like that, yes. No actual scream occurred. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't want to deafen you guys. <laughs> Which is appreciated, thank you. <laughs> It'll be like, ah! like that, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ah. Ah. But yeah, it's like that, but just very... Elongated and harsh. 
Something like that, yes, that is my definition of pleasure. Do you not enjoy it? Is it stopped, or is it still going? It is stopped. <laughs> uh, so he stumbles back, takes a second to shake his head. Um, well, I could <clears throat> see how that could be uh, pleasurable to some. I think it was a little too, uh, what's the word, overwhelming for me. Hmm. Of course, of course, mortal minds can barely comprehend the full breadth of my knowledge, let alone my existence. So, if you do not mind me asking, ugh, sorry, headache, what are you exactly? <laughs> Let me put it this way. The gods knew me when they came into existence. You could sooner destroy the sun and something like myself. I see. Uh, noted. So, all right, let's cut the crap. Is this, are you going to stop us? Stop you? Hmm, why on earth would I do that? Maybe for your pleasurable encounter, sir. Oh, Raxidol, Raxidol, Raxidol. My pleasure is not in destruction. My pleasure is in suffering. Killing you now would mean you don't suffer. Like I said, not exactly my definition of pleasurable. Now that being said, if, since I do not want to stop you, it would have been easy for me to just let you go on your way. Instead, I have an offer of sorts. Intriguing. Please elaborate. As you have seen, Raxidol, my powers are notable. And I can give you a way past the next gatehouse, straight to the castle gate. In return? In return, he reaches into his robes and pulls out this like little black box with a singular button on it, sliding it across the table towards your party. I want each of you to press this button. Um, that is a very intriguing offer. Would it be okay to ask what this button does? It kills someone. Random or specified? Completely random. Completely fair. You might know them, you might not. They might be you. They might not. But when the button is pressed, someone dies. I'm not going to sacrifice another life. Shame. So, y'all aren't going for it, right? Of course no. not. Alright. I think then we will hedge our bets and try our chances at the second gatehouse. He simply scoots the button back. How utterly noble. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, if you're interested in our suffering, who's in the second gatehouse then? Now why would I tell you that? The horror of anticipation is much worse than the uh, horror of not knowing at times. Hmm. Let me put it this way. I can tell you that something is behind a door. Something that, wish that wishes to kill you. You could open the door and find a ten-foot spider. You'd be startled at first, but then take a sigh of relief. At least it's not a hundred-foot spider. The horror of anticipation 
works when not everything is revealed. <sighs> Vague is as ever it will be. So... Hmm. What happens after it, it all shakes out? Just out of curiosity, if we were to achieve our goal, what does that mean for you then? It means I get to watch this world suffer some more. So as far as you're concerned, regardless of the circumstances, it's a win-win. Either everything is wiped clean, or I get to have fun. So yes, Malafane, it is a win. Well, it's nice to meet someone who's so transparent about their uh, loyalties and proclivities at the very least. Villains these days, they seek so much justification for what they do. Oh, it's for the good of my people. Oh, I've been kicked round for too long. Utterly meaningless in the end. <laughs> Something truly evil simply knows what it is and does it. <laughs> Can't argue with that. No, that's... Well, I wouldn't say fair, but... Honest. It is exactly what it is. I am nothing but fair, Raxadal. Everyone gets a fair chance to die under the bottom. Everyone gets a fair chance to suffer under my watch. So, how many times do you press that button yourself? My goal is not to press the button. My goal is to make others press the button. And how many have done so, then? <laughs> You're the first in a long time who haven't. I suppose. Well, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose many are desperate. Or from a, or from a series of nihilists and cynicists. <laughs> well, I think at this point, we should all take our leave then. Mm -hmm. mm. It's certainly been illuminating. It certainly has. Have fun storming the castle. Be well, sure to suffer just for you. Yes. <laughs> Quite. We'll continue this pleasurable encounter afterwards then. Of course you. So, where can we exit? Just go downstairs. The Migo step back to let you go. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't like that man. <laughs> so to the other gatehouse then. Mm -hmm. Provided nothing waylays us on the way, yeah. Provided that, <laughs> yeah. God, scared me. It's <laughs> <laughs> just some dice. Come on, just some dice. No, I didn't expect it to be so loud. <sighs> All right. You continue down the road, climbing upwards and onwards, uh, under towers and banners that don't flap in any wind because there's no wind down here. Until the second gatehouse looms before mm. you, its uh, portcullis slammed firmly shut. Right. Mm. Um, can I look around it, see if there's anything to open it? Uh, there looks to be a wheel attached to a chain that would raise up the portcullis on the other side of it. Can I look and see if it's rigged at all of any traps. Make a perception check. Alright. Oh no. <laughs> I lost this character sheet. Great start. <laughs> Make a perception check to find your character sheet. Oh god. Uh, that's an advantage. Alright. Uh, 
You take a look around. You don't notice any chaps. You do notice, like, several sets of, like, full plate armor down the entry corridor into this gatehouse, though. Do they appear occupied, or...? They look empty. Hmm. Doesn't mean they're empty. Are there any, uh, like, windows or, like, arrow slits or something like that that, say, a flying person could feasibly look into? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, there are are some arrow slits along the gatehouse. (laughs) Um, Momo's got detect magic, right? Yep, I believe so, yeah. Yes, but it does cost, uh, it is ten minutes to cast as a ritual. So I don't Mm. know if that would be the smartest thing. That's fair. But... Uh, cast guidance on himself and go take a look. Why not? Yeah, that arm is sus. Alright. Cool. Uh, Momo flies upwards to peek through the arrow slots into the gatehouse. It looks, uh, it looks reasonably well stocked and supplied for a gatehouse that has long since been, like, left underwater to rot. Uh, the... The armament, the armaments that are like hanging along the wall, as well as the armor, they look in pretty good shape. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. He'll he'll, he'll flip back that flip back down and sort of mention that if anything, it looks like this place is occupied and maybe has been for a while even. I'm worried that armor's enchanted. Not just that, but last time we encountered any sort of environment with arrow slits, we were peppered with arrows. If it is occupied, then I've got a bad feeling. Uh, I think Momo would mention something along the lines of, even if the armor is enchanted, the fact that it's very well stocked implies that whoever's using it is, or is a lot of people who actually require things to be stocked. So there's that at the very least. Mm-hmm. Well, our two options here is that we spin the wheel, or mm-hmm. if spin any of you know you me... Say. It's on the other side. <laughs> it's on the other side. Oh, it's on the other side. Well, that's what I was going to say. If anyone has Mage Hand, we could spin it from there. If it's strong enough. Harder. I do not have Mage Hand. Hmm... Hmm. Should have taken mage. I oh. do not have mage hand. Says Ari. Ah, the only other one out of character is I do have blink and thunder step. The problem is I've only got one third level spell slot left. Yeah. Did it not recharge with the long rest or? Uh, no, because I cast non detection on myself. Ah, okay, yeah. Hmm. How large does this portcullis look? Uh, you could certainly try to lift it up. (laughs) Hyrax. Yeah? How about we try a little something, get a little leverage, and uh, maybe Mal or someone else who's quick can slip through. He kind of, like, takes a moment, narrows his eyes, kind of looks you up and down. Can't hurt to try. (sighs) Don't ask questions. He moves to try. (laughs) Uh, Momo will cast Guidance on... You, Rax. Thank you. It's it's already there, so... Mm-hmm. Heave ho, baby. Let's right. go. Alright. Athletics to try and lift up the locked portcullis. And that's a plus four? Uh, D4? Plus one D4. 21. Mm-hmm. And right. I'm helping. Yeah, advantage, because Skrillian's helping. Hey! Nice! <laughs> okay, 25 right. is, I think... Just enough to hit the DC for lifting a lock for Ellis. <laughs> nice. Right. Uh, the two of you grab onto the gate and start heaving with all your might. Uh, takes a bit, so you take a bit to catch your breath, plant yourself, do a one, two, three countdown, and hoist up harder as the chain creaks and snaps out of a locked position as you start hoisting up the portcullis. And as it does, shimmering ghostly figures appear in the suits of armor down God into the hallway. Fucking- there it is. Fucking knew it. That was yeah. our trigger. And like grab axes off the wall and turn clank, clank as the armor starts moving to stare at you. 
Uh, do you want to move in now or not? Through and um, yeah, get that for us. Thanks. My shoulder's it? dying. <laughs> Could you go and activate the chain so that the portcullis raises, so we don't have to keep holding it up? Yep. Yep. Right. Malfian's gonna like rush through the rush through the the portcullis and go and activate the. All right. So he can. Yeah. Malifane, you go and turn the wheel to unlock the portcullis as the ghostly armored dwarves move in to fight. You can hear one of them bellowing in dwarven, INTRUDERS! Not exactly the most pleasant welcome, wagon. That's fine. Alright, have we dropped the portcullis yet? Uh... Portcullis is open, yes. Yay. 16% uh, cool. loading screen. <laughs> My condolences. Ah, there we I'm go. Master. Oh, you're right there, brilliant. <laughs> right. Well, good luck, Mal. I don't know what that is. It means the gods are like literally right in front of you. <laughs> Why don't you print screen and show me? I don't wanna. <laughs> no, it's good, don't worry. You're gonna see all my tabs. There you go. Ah, I see. Alright. Do we have to roll initiative or can we move into a position? Uh, roll initiative. Alright. Cool. Mm. Oh, I'll be back on in a second. I am God! Momo still rolled higher. For once. <laughs> and I am... Let's, uh... Oh, it puts them into a group, I see. Well, that's dumb as hell. That's dummy thick. Mm-hmm. Aha! Love it. All right. Join session, please. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> well, you can look at what I sent and we'll, like, move you if you want. Yeah. Um, <coughs> you said they're suits of armor. How particularly sturdy do they look? It's full plate armor. Full oh, plate armor. someone's going to have to roll up a melophone. Oh, I have access. I can do it. There we go. I'm sorry. I fucked up your initiative. <laughs> This is what happens when you let me roll this initiative. Happens. I didn't let any of you roll my initiative. <laughs> hey! No one rolled initiative. Everything yeah, is yeah. terrible. Alright. Alright. So, as I get some <laughs> music in here... I'll just re-roll it, hopefully, when I get back in. Yeah. If that's allowed. Sure. I mean, obviously, I won't let it happen until initiative count 20. Or, end of, you know what I mean. Next turn. Next turn, yeah. While you're still loading. Yeah. It is Momo's turn. Momo goes first? Really? Momo oh. goes first! Fucking, okay, let me do some measuring real fast. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, Momo is going to fly up real fast, and what he is going to do is he is going to attempt to turn the undead all on right. all the ghost orbs. Alright, so, the ghost dwarves stand firm against Momo's attempt. They, uh, they have advantage on saving throws, so not guaranteed, but they mm -hmm. look pretty brave for undead. So. Damn. Hey. All right. <laughs> so, the topmost and uh, bottommost ghost dwarves are absolutely fine. The others are gonna have to freaking go. Just gonna have to go. They just. They got a place they need they to be, you know? They gotta fucking go. Mm hmm. 
Right. Cool. And then Momo will take the rest of his flying movement to fly back here. And that shall... All right. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, I, do I want to do a bonus action? I don't think... No, not at the moment, so... Boom. Boom. It is now Rax's turn. It's mine. I need to turn this volume down. <laughs> it's so loud today. Um... So these two in the middle. Is this one of those things where if they're injured, then the effect ends? <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, so one minute five, or until they take damage. So. 10, 15, 20. Yeah, 25. I'll go here. Okay. Thank you. Um, On this one here, I'll cast Firebolt. All right. Mwah. So, uh, that is actually a hit. <laughs> hmm. Uh... <laughs> the blast of fire sails right through an opening in the armor and boom, hits the dwarf, heating up the armor a little bit, but not super much. All right. Uh, and that's it. All right. Cool. It is now Ari's turn. Ari, da da da. Ari's gonna hang back and <laughs> see if these are the dwarves that resist necrotic or if they're the ones that are just immune to necrotic. So, chill touch on the bottom dwarf. Immune to necrotic. Okay, good to know. All right. And she is ducking back here. All right. Corellian. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Mm hmm yeah, I mean, K is gonna measure. <coughs> yeah, K is gonna move forward in front of Momo, and he's gonna hold his action to attack any of the dwarves that come within his reach within melee range, so five feet. All right. And what's that? <laughs> Malifane. Uh, can someone give me a screenshot of what the map looks like right now? Oh, thank you. Hit that load real fast. Da -da -da -da. Oh god, oh fuck. Where is it? There we go. Here you go, bud. Uh, thank you. You are, you are a gentleman and a scholar. Okay, um, hmm, uh, which one is taking the most damage? Bottom one. Oh my god, I'm loaded, I'm loaded in, thank god. Yes, yes. let's go. So this one right here? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> um, I don't want to experiment just yet, so for now I'll just go and attack at them. Um, so in the meantime, uh, what I've done so far hasn't exactly failed me yet. I will just go up to the one, actually 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and I will strike at it with a crescent blade. Okay. Um, actually... Now let's mess around with the new one. Let's mess around with the, the other rapier. So I will attack with that one. Ooh, daring today. Daring today, yes. Ooh. So that's that. <laughs> All right. Um, I can't trigger sneak attack because there is another ally. There is someone within five feet of... Oh. No. All right. System five. shock, huh? Nope, uh, not System Shock, it just said Constitution save, so I clicked on that to make him automatically do it. Uh, then I realized, wait, this is an undead dwarf, he can't be poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> Good talk. Um, and then, you know what I will do is I will... 35, 40. I will, however, go and attack this one since it is by itself. Uh, that um, one is under the effect of turn undead right now, so it has to flee and it can't attack us until it takes damage. 
Never mind, I will not do that. I'm sorry, I just want to let you know. No, it's alright. What about this one? Uh, <laughs> if they don't have the little cross on them, they are not affected by turn undead. Cool, Same okay. Uh, 35, 40. Then I will attack him and trigger sneak attack. Uh, if it hits. you're right <laughs> under a ghost dwarf. Wants this dwarf out of the way. I'm under a ghost dwarf? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're on his square. You're on the square. I am? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. it wasn't there before. Oh, it was there just a moment ago. Oh, if you move to the left or right, you should be fine. I would say don't move to the right, you'll be sandwiched between two of them. <laughs> I'm just going to keep attacking the one I was fighting then. Okay, cool. 13, <laughs> All right. clink, bounces off the armor. Yeah, that seems about right. Well, uh, it's still, you know what? I still used a melee attack against him that hit, so I'm going to retreat. 35, 40, bonus action to dash. 45. 50, 55, 60... Did you just... 60... What? You, you dashed through you a vault? wall. Yeah, you vaulted the wall. What? Oh, I see. That's a wall. Okay. <laughs> I'm still processing no, the map fine. because I... Okay. So... 35, 40, 45... Oh, wait. Hmm. I'm he's in a bit of a away. conundrum right now. Well, he's running away, so... Oh, that's right. So he can't yeah. proc sneak attack. 40, 45, 50. Oh, hi. Um, and I need to see how the gloves work real quick before I do anything else. Oh, wait, that would be interacting with an object is a free, one free action, right? Uh, which gloves? Um, but I haven't done anything yet, but I just, the, uh, oh, wait, that's an action. Never mind. Yeah, okay. that's an action. Um, all right. In that case, I think I am okay. All right. There is no button to end turn here. That's weird. Uh, are you not in the combat screen? I am in the combat screen. Well, wait, no, it says it's still on Rex at all. That's why I didn't see him. That is weird. Yeah, that's really weird. You're out of sync with everyone else. Hmm. Bizarre. Yeah. Well, what? That's fine. I ended my turn, anyways. <laughs> cool. All right. The ghost dwarves, the ones who were turned, march this way, open the door, and I think they have to take the action to dash. So, bam, and one, two, three, four, five. They're actually hovering away, so they're moving pretty, pretty darn fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will say in lieu of. Uh, a dash that going ethereal is technically a way of getting the fuck out nice. of there. So this one just phases <laughs> right through a wall. I mean, as far away from me as it can, that's about as far away as you can get. Yeah, in the ethereal plane, bye! <laughs> Alright, so the other two dwarves march forward. One, two, three. Three, four, one, two, three, four. I believe going to either of these will put them in range of Corellian, so boop. Excellent, cool. I was holding my attack just for this very moment. Spicy. And, oh, nice. hey. Malifane is right there, so that is very cool and sexy. All right, so both of them hit. Awesome. I yep. am not going to smite, but do they seem to take extra damage from the radiant? Uh, they do not. They look okay. fine against radiant damage. Good to know. How are know. you able to attack them all the way over there? You're not updated, Scott. <laughs> You're out I of hate sync. this. I hate Forge. Try reloading it. No! <laughs> no, what are you, stupid? <laughs> All right. So, uh, so the dwarf that was hit by Corellian, like, drops down to one knee and starts letting out, like, this mixture of prayers and cursing and other, like, various phrases intertwining with each other in Dwarven. 
I don't believe anyone's affected by this because they're in Corellian's aura. And Is Ari's it? too far away. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, frightening saving throw, so. Yeah. Yep. We're fine then. Okay. Yeah. The dwarves uh, know that now, and the other one's like, well, I'm not going to try and spook you then. Fuck off. <laughs> and he turns, clank, clank, stares at Malifane, and the axe starts glowing with phantasmal energy as it attacks. One, two, Man, that was a terrible fucking roll. <laughs> yeah, damn. Mm. And then it reaches out with its free hand to try and, like, grab Malifane by the face. These are terrible fucking rolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. These poor dwarves. These poor dwarves. They're getting bodied. Mm. They really do be, though. <laughs> all right. And I'm skipping all of these ghost dwarves because they all move on the same turn, meaning it's Momo's turn again. All right, cool. Momo is going to cast Sacred Flame on the dwarf that is facing Raxerdal. So, DC 17. Damn! Unfortunate, Ooh. wow. The dwarf in full plate armor just dips to the side of this bolt of radiant energy. Uh, mm, mm. Momo's gonna back the fuck up. Uh... <laughs> He's gonna go, he's gonna go, he's gonna go, like, hang out around here. <laughs> yeah, wizards and clerics go to the back, Momo! <laughs> he is very at back, so yeah. Alright, Rex. Time to die! <laughs> Let's go! Ooh, this looks like a perfect baby. opportunity for slaughter! <laughs> probably even the king's men. Probably even! Oh, true! <laughs> even. <laughs> we'll have to find them later. <laughs> and that's it. Alright. Ari is gonna scooch on back. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. A lot of her spells are area of effect and would get you, so I'm gonna double check. Uh, that's a touch range spell. Uh, all right. Ari doesn't want to waste any spell slots because she doesn't have anything especially useful against the ghost doors. So what she is going to do <coughs> is... Uh, let's see. She was down here, so... One, two, three, four. She's going to be right here and trust that Corellian will not let a giant dwarf in plate armor fuck her up. You've got it. All right. Speaking of, Corellian. Time to not let a giant dwarf in plate armor fuck her up. Okay, I'm just gonna... So anyway, I started smashing. <laughs> Okay. God, you're wow, that is bad. some unfortunate. <laughs> these are some unfortunate this damage rolls. Terrible damage rolls. And the calculations are right this time, so woof. All right. Um, Sorry, I might be able to. Holy shit, he's at one hit point. <laughs> he's at <laughs> one hit point. I'm sorry, I don't put him out of his misery. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's fine. All right, Malafane. Cool. Uh, yeah, time to die. Like. Yeah, you have no power here. <laughs> All right. So, you turn to the dwarf who got down on his knees and started praying after yelling in shooters at you and just stab him through what constitutes a face as the armor <laughs> collapses to the ground. And then, uh, I, God, finally I'm going to be able to use this. I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, to faint against the uh, the other dwarf, uh, giving me, Ooh. since he's within five feet of me, it will give advantage on this next attack. Uh, so I will do that. All right. Cool. Not that it matters because, you know, that does it hit, hit either Could way. <laughs> um, and I will also proc sneak attack because I can. Um, wherever it is, there it is. Yeah. Right. Bam. So. 
the ghost dwarf who ran further away is like, oh yeah, I can go into the ethereal plane. Whoop, can't catch me here, fuckers! <laughs> <laughs> While the dwarf who is still standing realizes that, hmm, I can't frighten these people. And I am sworn to defend this place against intruders. So anyways, I started slashing. Uh, <laughs> all at Malafane again. Unfortunate. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Ooh, he, he actually hit, hit me. I, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him. Oh wait, never mind. I'm Kenny Dodge. Never mind. Huh? His third what? attack has what? to be Hand of the Grave, so... <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, Momo. Just, just for flavor text in, in Dwarvish, bad day. <laughs> Intruders! Bad day. Well, this is better than a hundred foot tall spider, at least. <laughs> and he's going to cast Sacred Flame on the last dwarf within ring. Make me a dex save. <laughs> uh, Yay! There we go. Yay. So, right. Team Radiant. Bam! The dwarf is struck down by a blast of radiant energy and collapses onto the ground. Mm. Two down. Alright. Uh, Momo will mention that he's not sure if the other two will come back once the minute is up, but who knows. <sighs> Maybe we should be not here then, said <laughs> Sorry. Sounds I mean, ideal. They weren't too bad, all things considered. Yeah, but what if there are more? Mm, very true. Right, let's keep moving then. All right. right. Unfortunately, <laughs> Scott, I'm changing pages. <laughs> Fuck <No>. you! <laughs> all right, so do we want to avoid the way that they ran off to? Probably. Mm. All right, let's then go the other way. <laughs> All right, you turn and run the other direction through the gatehouse, hearing, like, this clamor of alarm bells behind you that soon get echoed in the castle itself as you burst out the back door of the gatehouse and head down the last short but twisting path up to the castle's front gate. Let me double-check my notes real quick, actually. Uh, uh. <coughs> All right. Uh, yes. You head up to the front gate of the castle. Uh, the drawbridge is down, and the uh, this portcullis in front of it has been smashed straight through. Other than that, the exterior of the castle looks phenomenal. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I'm not going to look a gift portcullis in the mouth, that's for sure. Mm. Uh... Um, I will say to Angel's Bane... Well, if that was indeed the king's men, it looks like your anticipated bloodshed is nearby. Is it possible to have a sword boner? Yes. Why are you looking at that thing in disgust? <laughs> <laughs> that I have the biggest sword boner right now! I turn to Malafane, look him dead in the eye. Don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. Get inspiration. Get inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one? Racks it all. You finally turn that shit around. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Excellent. Thinking about that daddy dagger. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, do do there look to be any like guards or anything stationed up on the parapets or anything like that? Ooh, uh, that's a good call. Make a perception check. I think okay. I will make a check as well. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted. Ooh. I'll just let you two I have a familiar. That. Mm -hmm. I have a familiar. I'll just let I, you two handle that. I don't have a reliable familiar. I know he's like, shrug with six arms. I, I, guess, I guess Momo will look with his not legal <laughs> eyes. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, it's still a 19. It's All not right. bad. Oh, let me... Let me do the thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
all of you who are looking up onto the parapets can just like barely, barely see this, but you catch what look to be giant gargoyles of some kind just at the edges of your vision where the parapet would normally block you. And and you take a closer look. Wait, you don't think these gargoyles are made out of stone. They're just like big hulking humanoid figures, big bat wings with an axe in one hand, hunched down. Okay. And it's a shame we don't have someone um, who can has magic fists who can punch rock anyway. <laughs> no. We should um we should probably uh get going real fast then. Ideal, yes. <clears throat> as quick as possible. Mm. Alright. You uh you head inside the castle, and inside is like a much different story than the in the exterior. The exterior looked fancy. The exterior looked like this was an actual castle people would live in. Uh, the main foyer, as you step inside, is covered in grime and disuse. Like, statues have some kind of mold growing over parts of their face if their face isn't just, like, broken off into small, pebblish chunks on the side. There are a couple of runes in Abyssal scattered around that they don't look glowing. They look to have been used and then just kind of left there to decay for quite a long time. Uh, um. Notably, in this foyer of the castle, <laughs> you don't see any doors other than the front door you came through. I'll use the monocle to see what the runes say. Alright. You look at the runes. They appear to be a contract of some sort. Uh, like, requesting the usage of soldiers from Gehenna to use as guards. Yeah, Ge have we heard of Gehenna? Have hey, we... isn't that where Mr. Fox is from? I believe so. That's where Mother... Yugoloths come from. Motherfucker! <laughs> <sighs> Seems maybe an associate of one of your... F I almost said the word foxy friends, that was awful. <laughs> I hesitate to call him anything but anything I haven't like thought of him that. that way. Fox associate. Yeah. Uh, mm. The runes continue giving more specific terms, uh, like as to what kind of people the the Yugoloth guards, because at this point you figured out, yeah, there are some Yugoloth guards in here, are allowed to attack. And basically, uh, what you decipher from reading the runes is they can only attack people who are not of virtue. Okay. They can only attack people who are not of virtue. Oh, I see. We're not virtuous enough. Well, hold on. What classifies as virtuous in their eyes? You know? suppose... Would Momo know what perhaps would classify as virtuous, just so we can be sure? Make a religion check? Cool. Uh, he is going to slap himself with guidance, because why <coughs> wouldn't he at I'm this point? <laughs> <laughs> you are when I'm playing you. <laughs> uh, so let me roll d d4. 21, nice. 21. Uh, virtue is a lot of different things in a lot of different religions. Uh, like one god saying it's virtuous to show mercy uh, would be another god being like, it is virtuous to show your power and crush all the weak because they don't fucking deserve anything. So whatever whatever god uh, King Ranmar, whose castle this probably is, worshipped, that might be his definition of virtue. Wolf. Oop. Mm. Uh, I should also I should also point out, uh, reading the description of the room again, like the front doorway with the portcullis in it is open, but there are passages where doors or <coughs> corridors would be. There's just rock over them, sheer solid rock over the passages. God damn it. What do we do, then? Mm -hmm. Looking at some effects real quick. Sounds good. Uh, 
That's not super useful. Um, I could have Momo try to cast Detect Magic, but it would take 10 minutes, so I don't know if that's the smartest play here. Um, otherwise, I mean... Hey, Malphite, don't you have those uh, magic lenses that give you advantage on checks if you're really close up to things? So if, per se, you were investigating or looking at something really closely to see if something was like an illusion or trapped or something that might help. I don't know, just... If I was close I enough, know. yes. Ah, I mean, I nobody's see. interrupting us, so why not? I see. That is well, out of character, sorry. No, remind me what I'm doing again, I'm sorry. Uh, Ma Malifane has those special, like, crystal lenses that... That part I got. It. That part yeah. I got. Just uh, investigate the areas where we think doors should be to see if maybe they're illusions or secret doors <clears throat> or trapped or something like that. That makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah, in that case, um, Malifane will kind of put his hands to the rock and kind of just feel it up and down for a sense of any give or or anything that may you know point to an opening or any trap that may spring if we got close or anything of the like. Cool. Investigation with advantage since you're like right there. <laughs> cool. Hey, nice. <laughs> All right. In that case, uh, technically since you touch the rock, something will happen, but with a natural 20, you figured a lot out right before that happens. <clears throat> uh, nice. This entire foyer of the castle is a room that is in one big mechanism. It's attached to this series of, like, cables, gears, and wires that can move the chamber around, up and down, and, like, rotate it in different directions. So, presumably, it is in an orientation where there's only one entrance, but it can be moved so that there are other entrances to other parts of the castle. As to how, you're not entirely sure what would trigger it because there's no mechanism on your side of the room but as you touch the rock it starts glowing oh. oh yeah uh and then a voice rings out echoing in dwarven many would seek audience with king ranmar if you think yourself worthy let us test the purity of your prideful intent. Oh no, he's Scottish. <laughs> Answer me, my riddles three. Mm -hmm. Fail, and death is all you'll see. <laughs> oh, virtually. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. No, I was just going to say, it's just like a... For lack of better way of phrasing it, is this like a pre-recorded thing? You know what I mean. Is this like a... Something I can respond to. Uh, make an arcana check? Three, that was... It's okay. <laughs> God. Uh, wow. This... That would have been better used for something else, but okay. It would have, yeah. Uh, this appears to be a very elaborate system of magic mouths triggered by specific responses. <laughs> so, like... If you say something completely off the wall, it may default to another message, but otherwise you can <laughs> respond oh. and answer the riddles and whatnot. Some sort of advanced security system, but it looks like we can respond to it if need be. Very well. We accept this challenge. O oh, virtue of virtues, through trial and strife, tempering both judgment and might, I wait and wait everything within my sight. Repeat that one more time. Once and once only. A virtue of virtues. O oh, virtue of virtues. Through trial and strife. Tempering both judgment and might. I wait and wait everything within my sight. Motherfucker. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nothing. Um, can someone paste that in the in call only because the one note or the one drive even isn't opening for me? Yeah, hold on. 
Everything's broken today, Hata. Oh, I forgot that it pasted in a screenshot. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. But your virtues for trial and strife, tempering both judgment and might, I wait and wait everything within my sight. Sounds like a god. <laughs> everything within my sight. Uh, da, 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 da. Very I, prideful intent. I wait and wait everything within my sight. Virtues. Virtues, virtues, virtues. Sorry, let me just Google something real fast. Um... Are you Googling the answer? <laughs> I was no, gonna say. I'm just Googling what could potentially be an answer, but I, I have a, I have a lead that I'm going on, but I want to make sure I see the right thing. Okay, like, leave me alone. Okay. Uh, ba basically, I'm going off the uh, this 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 this, this the, seven, the seven heavenly virtues. So I think this is patience, oh. perhaps. Because it, it said virtues, purity Wait, of that's true. Et cetera, virtues? And Did you just say seven deadly virtues? Se seven heavenly virtues. Ah. Opposite to the seven deadly sins. I didn't yeah. know so, that was a I thing. Yes. I, I wait and wait everything within my sight. Tempering both judgment and might. Yeah, because if you have patience, then you don't act rashly. Yeah, and the opposite of patience is wrath. So that's my best guess. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just- I just- I just Google some shit. I don't have a brain cell. Leave me alone. Mm. I think. Oh, whoops. Uh, don't come back! A virtue of virtue is through trial and strife, tempering with judgment and might. Is that what you're gonna put down? Um, I'm for it. Momo will pipe up and say, Patience. <laughs> okay. The chamber rumbles, and you notice the rockwork along the walls spinning and sliding downward. Alright. The chamber soon comes to a stop, and the grinding ceases. The so... Does that mean it worked? <laughs> <laughs> the voice okay. speaks again. A soldier's burden, I commonly am. A commandment, even to kings. Beyond pleasure and joy, above all I sit. A call to action, or a sacred writ. Hmm. On that I sit. Sorry, furiously typing. <laughs> yeah, I'm furiously it. googling. Yeah. Furiously. Could it, Could it be the cursed throne? Please watch cursed throne. Um, okay, as someone who was not familiar with the heavenly virtues until now, do I have permission to look what those are just by name? I'm gonna assume sure. not. Okay. Oh. Corellian pipes up duty. Once more, the chamber oh! grinds, uh, rockwork sliding downward and off to the side as the chamber itself seems to spin further and further upward before it grinds to another stop. Huh. Good job. Nice. I'm familiar. Aren't we all? <laughs> and mm. the voice speaks up for its third riddle. When the fittest do contend... And bold winners seek an end. They look upon their fallen foe and withhold their closing blow. Is that uh, mercy? Is it mercy? Kindness? I think so. <laughs> I'd say mercy, personally. Uh, All right. You know what? Yeah, Holger? that sounds about right. All right, Rex will but, say right. mercy. Mercy. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it You rush to say mercy <laughs> Ari starts pushing and shouting and saying Mercy, mercy <laughs> Mercy, <laughs> mercy! <laughs> Alright Once more The chamber spins upward The glow on the rockwork Starts to fade And then This passageway opens Up some stairs Into a door on the farthest wall Leading 
into what appears to be a throne room of some kind. Oh shit. <gasps> He's up there! I think we've done it. It can't have been that. I don't want to say easy, but that's simple. There's yeah. no way. Does it seem like there are any mechanisms, at, at least in the nearby vicinity, that look like it would send us to our imminent demise? Make a perception check. Okay. Smacks you with really, guidance. Really would have been Blam. nice to have that. Really would have Di been nice to have that that nat twenty here, but here we are. <laughs> here we are. So good. Roll your D four, Melophane. Okay. Stairs pretty. Twenty five. <laughs> All right. Uh, it looks like this. It's just a straight <laughs> shot into the throne room. Uh, the riddles appear to have been answered correctly, giving you safe and virtuous passage to meet King Ranmar. The ruler of your room. And out of character, I'm just going to reveal what would have happened if you failed all three riddles. Uh, Ooh. The floor would have opened up beneath you and dropped you into a pit of spikes, and then you would have been crushed by stone blocks for good measure. Yo, <laughs> Jesus. That is practically Gygaxian, if I may say. <laughs> Wait, you specified if we failed all three. Are you saying we failed one or two? No, you got all three right. Oh, okay. Sweet. Wait, what would have happened if we failed any of them? You would have had to fight some Yugalots, the number depending on how many you failed. Oh, that's not so Fuck bad. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we geniuses. All right. Well, are we all ready then? Yes, I believe sure so. Yes, we'll ever be. All right. You all step through the passageway <laughs> into the throne room of Castle Yell Room. It is... Fairly well decorated. It's got uh, two pillars flanking this, this magnificent, opulent-looking cushioned throne, atop which sits the decayed corpse of an ancient-looking dwarf. And as you step inside, its head raises with milky eyes to stare at you. The second thing you notice is the stench. This man smells like he has been rotting for every single day. Of every single year that your room has remained under the water. Oh. Disgusting. Uh, a great sword lies at the side of the throne, kind of le leaning lazily against it, with one of the rotting king's hands clasping its handle as you walk inside. I have angels being gripped by my side. Uh, Kay will stride forward fairly confidently and then take a knee and make pleasantries. Um, it is an honor to have audience with the king of your room. I do not recall your faces. Who are you that would seek me? Where... Kay, Kay like searches for the words. <laughs> the lads. We're recent arrivals to your city, to your domain. We come seeking someone who... We hope is not under your protection. Oh. The Mind Flare. Mm. Out of luck, then, aren't you, Kobold? Ah, uh, so he is under your protection, then. While he is here, my city lives. Is that what he promised you, then? Just that? Have you not beheld it? Have you not taken the tour? Seen every last one of the districts? Certainly, they had tough times. The slums with their interesting 
envy of those in the higher power. The markets, with their greed for more despite everything being given to them. The docks, with their lust for knowledge. The temples, with their wrath against the gods. Even the wealthy district, consuming everything that's given to them without a care of how to use it better. But those times are at an end. Your room rises again. Your people suffer greatly. They're in anguish. That is what we have seen all throughout your room. We have taken the tour. We have been to every single district. And we have seen nothing but pain and suffering and what used to be people crying out, hoping for an end. You dare speak lies to me? Only if this is what you want for your people. Your room cannot end. My city is forever. I am forever. Your room has already ended. There's nothing left. You are all that's left. <laughs> he stands, raising his great sword. You come in here, masquerading as men of virtue, to tell me my city is nothing. Well, if I am all that remains, he swings his great sword over into a combat position. I am more than enough. As long as I stand, your room shall never fall. And as long as my city stands, I am forever. You, you are dead men who don't know it yet. I swing my sword up and say, You've outstayed your welcome on life long enough. Now you will die by the blade of Angel's Bane. <laughs> better men than you have tried, boy. And better men than you. Decorate the bottom of the docks. <laughs> then let me be the one to succeed. All right. It is initiative time. <sighs> That's <laughs> uh, double. That's better. Good job. Hey, much cheese. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> also, today, I have to refresh oh. the foundry page. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sucks, doesn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> <coughs> what the fuck is in the other room? <laughs> Ugloss. Ah. Oh, oh, they're just big chillin'. Yeah, they're just big chillin'. They can't hurt you. You're men of virtue. <laughs> <coughs> Damn, I'm a really good one-liner, but I'll have to wait. Fuck. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah. Such is life. <laughs> Such is life. Well, as this loads, let us begin. Malifame. I think Malifane is going to take his first turn to bide his time a little bit. He's going to kind of move to the back, um, and he is going to he is going to with the fire weaver gloves, um, just kind of cast away. Is there anything that is flammable in the vicinity? Uh, you could certainly try to set the carpet on fire. I don't like when people say you can certainly try because it normally means not good things. <laughs> um, it's the worst thing that can happen. You fail. What about that bench over there? Uh, that bench? That looks to be wooden and bolted to the wall. That works. Um, in that case, Malifane will uh, use an action to cast Produce Flame and set the this portion of the bench right here on fire. Um, 
And that, I believe, if memory serves correctly, um, will only... Let's see, hang on. Once sculpted, the flame retains its form for one minute before returning to normal. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And that's an action, right? Yes. Cool. Um, I'm going to, in that case, I'm just going to use my bonus action to hide from the king. I just um, want to, I just want to narrate what happened. <laughs> this confrontation with the rotting king as he stands up, ready to fight, and everyone's like, your city is awful. <laughs> And you're going down. <laughs> and then Malifane runs off to set a bench on fire. <laughs> I have my reasons. Trust me. <laughs> I don't doubt it, but it's still really funny. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, that, let's... on the other hand, is not hilarious. Oh. Slightly more amusing. All right. Uh, and that is the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. All right, Corellian. Cool. Uh, I can't see shit right now, but um, <laughs> as long as there are no... It doesn't look like anybody else is going to join the fight presently. What Kay would want to do is... Mm, actually, uh, Kay's going to end up taking a like sideline tank role because... Hey, Rex, you're, you're the one with the bloodthirsty sword that wants revenge, so, like, go fucking off, right? Uh, so, Kay is going to move, like, slightly forward, but try to keep people within his aura, if possible, particularly, like, Momo and Ari until they move, and just try to prevent anyone from getting past them towards the squishies, if that makes sense. Sorry, I can't see the screen. <laughs> Alright. No, you're fine. Uh, you are four spaces to the right of King Ranmar. Uh, currently, you're in front of the door. Everyone but Malifane is within ten feet of you. Okay, cool. Uh, I will just move so I am definitely in between Ranmar and everybody else. Sweet. Cool. And I guess I will hold an... I'll hold an attack if he comes near. Fuck it. Like, why not, right? And, uh... <laughs> I'm... For, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait on that since I'm far away from Renmar. Okay, 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 cool. All right. It is now Momo's turn. I'm gonna have Momo back the fuck up, and uh, since I can't see anything right now, you might as well go with Old Faithful and try a Sacred Flame, which is a DC 17 Dex, if I recall correctly. All right. That is deck saving throw. Just need. Uh, yes, sir. As I just jam out to this music. Mm -hmm. I can't hear the music. <laughs> well, you're a nerd. Yeah. Oh. Oop. What else is new? <laughs> yeah. Imagine nerds playing Dungeons and Dragons. What are the Ooh, odds? That's hot. Did he make the deck save? Uh, mark? no, you are, you are out of boards. Yeah, I, I'm aware. I'm doing my best to restart at the moment. Yeah, sacred oh, flame uh, didn't roll. Oh, I, I, I wasn't able to roll it. I'm sorry. Okay, I can, I just I can do it. Don't remembered worry. how that worked. Okay. Sacred flame, sacred flame. Where is it? There it is. Wait, there it isn't. <laughs> sacred flame. Yeah, I, only, I only have control of Corellian. I don't have control of Momo. Um, oh, you don't have control of Momo. <laughs> yeah, no. What the fuck? Oh, that's weird. I cannot see any of Krillin's cantrips. Krillin doesn't, doesn't have cantrips. cantrips. It's no, this Momo. Is oh, is it? Oh, well, I don't have Momo she so... <laughs> Looks like I'm doing it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry. I was gonna say, when the fuck did Krillin ever have cantrips? Ooh. Never. <laughs> All right. He's a paladin. <laughs> Ah, Damn! Oh, motherfuck! <laughs> the but slow as hell zombie man just casually parries the sacred flame with his greatsword. 
Cool. Uh, yeah, Momo will back the fuck up if possible. Uh, loading in, 31%. All right. All it took was going to a different browser and uh, spooking Chrome. <coughs> Yay! You scare Chrome into compliance. That's how we do it here. Basically. <laughs> so my apologies for that. Fuck well, it. All right. Yeah, he's good. Cool. Rax. All right, so um, motivated by Angel Spain's bloodthirst <coughs> and infuriated at how much the suffering this man has caused, he's going to go straight in there. I don't care what stupid effects you have up. He is just pissed. Okay. All right, so effects that he has up. Uh, oh, this is the start of your next turn effect. Uh, so mm -hmm. we'll deal with that later. Mm. All right, and let's see. The 19 and the 30 hit as whoosh, whoosh. Uh, you deliver several swinging blows, striking Angel's Bane across King Ranmar's chest as he raises his own great sword in response for a swing at you. Uh, yeah, that hits. All right. It's enchanted with necrotic energy, so it... Burns and rots the wound he's caused on your body. It sucks. It, Super hard. It's okay. I'm the fucking health tank. <laughs> All right. It is Ari's turn. She's gonna peek right on through. Uh, mm -hmm. Since this is a big bad king, she's gonna try and see, hey, can I just charm him into letting us go? <laughs> <laughs> And she uh, chants the magic words, waves her hands, and King Ranmar is immune to the charmed condition. Okay. Mm. He shrugs. This is not my day, mutters Ari, ducking behind uh, the wall to get out of the way. And it is now King Ranmar's turn. He is... Da -da -da. All right. So, since he is already engaged in melee combat with Raxerdal and doesn't particularly feel like moving, he is going to swing twice with his greatsword. Nope, not getting out of this chair. Uh, I'll cast shield on that first one. All right. So that's plus five to AC, which I don't think is enough to stop 27. No. It's so. 21 he goes up to. Cool. You uh, hold up and block just barely with a magical shield the first blow of his greatsword. But then he whirls around for another attack, smashing straight through and dealing another slash to your torso. Okay. All right. At which point... Oh, he... He can't see Malifane. So instead, he is going to stare <coughs> at Momo... And you, little bird, you would stand against me. I am your room. I messed up. This is within ten feet. So, he's oh. just taunting <laughs> Momo at this point, I guess. <laughs> Alright, Malifane, you are hiding under a bench that you yourself have set on fire. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That speaking speaking of which, Alex, what are your rules on um on fire tipped arrows? If they're not meant to be set on fire, it's disadvantage to shoot them. Cool. All right. In that case, um, I have two arrows with advantage then, because one I have with sneak attack, uh, or one with stealth rather. I apologize. Anyways, uh, Malifane is going to come down the hallway and shoot at. King Ranmar with his robe bow. This so, bow is on fire. Fire. Really? <laughs> I think I can boost that up with a bit of pers with a precision attack. Because uh, I because I assume that's not going to hit. That is not going to hit. Yeah, let's fix that. Let's fix that. Uh, where is precision? 19? That'll hit. There we go. 
So nine damage plus sneak attack. Come on. Twelve. And then a second shot at him uh, with a fire tipped arrow. Okay. Uh, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, oh that no. unfortunately misses the arrow burning up before it can hit King Ranmar. That is okay. I have a I have a good I have a good source right here. So in the meantime, I will hide back in position. And I thought I was yeah. the pyromaniac, Pelophane. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I am. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! So um, you. You hide and then scooch up to get into a comfortable position and wait. What's that smell? You smell something. Bur <laughs> Why do you believe that's the? Oh, right. Yeah, mm. you're a little bit on fire, Melvin. <laughs> you're just ever so slightly on fire. The risk, you know, Momo. Mo, the risk I took was calculated, but I am not good at math. So that's one d six fire like damage every round until you make an action to put yourself out of being on fire. Okay, that's fine. Corellian. Cool. Just got in here. We're having a great time. Uh, the the door to the south of Ari, is it open? Do we see things down there, TM? Uh, the door is closed. Okay, so we do not see things down there, TM. Excellent. You do not uh, see things down there. In that case, as far as I'm concerned, the squishies are back there, so I will... I guess I'll move... F uh, I'll move forward a space and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Vow of Enmity so uh, attack advantage baby attack rolls let's go and then I'm going to move in and start slashing <coughs> damn yeah both of those hit cool uh I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna divine smite on that crit because it's just it's nice. just better that way uh is he undead? He's undead. <laughs> he will take extra damage. So let me just uh, pull out and decide what level of smite I want to use. <laughs> you know, I, I think we could go with a... We could go on a third level smite on this beautiful day and age. So that's two, three, four, five, d8. So 68 undead or a fiend. So 68. Right, 68. Not bad. Bad. Not bad. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'll smite on that first one, too, just for funsies. Just the first level smite, so that would be a 2d8. Jesus. Actually, 3d8, because I'm dead, so. Nice. It is time to nuke. All right, and that will be the end of my turn. Yeah, King Ranmar looks busted up by the sheer fury of wham, shoving a straight sword into his skull. So he's gonna <laughs> use his reaction to swing at Corellian for that. Cool. This can't be it. Nah, it does hit. All right. So it's Momo's turn. I do want to say Kay's one-liner, and that is. I can't wait to hold your head up over the parapet so you can see what your city has become. And uh, Momo is going to actually take his action to, like, bat out the flames on Malifane. Okay. You're too so kind. <laughs> I'm the firebug. <laughs> anyway, so that will be... Uh, I don't think I want Momo to do anything on his bonus action at this time, so... I think we're good, since that was using his action, and that's it, baby. Alright, so, Raxidol, before anything happens, you notice the stench very clearly of King mm -hmm. Ranmar's rotting body, and it is fucking nasty. Uh, what, by the way, is your alignment? Oh, no. It is lawful neutral. Okay, cool. Alright, you were just affected by the stench, then... Does it trigger a surge of chaotic energy by any chance? Oh yeah, we need to start triggering some surges yeah, of chaotic I was energy. Say. <laughs> Should I do it then if I'm close? Yeah, do it. I was the last person to draw a card, so oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, who cares about all? Yeah, we'll do Queen, <laughs> and then we'll go down the line with Atlas. 
All right. It's been a hot second since I've drawn. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot left in the deck. I think so it replenishes afterwards. Yeah. All right. Oh. The eclipse. You are surrounded by a 20 foot sphere of magical darkness. On the plus I side. I love it. On the plus side, so is he. Boom. Can't see shit. I can't see shit. Uh, sugar. Right. Uh, what I will do is I will use second wind to heal myself. That's 17. That brings me t back to 100. <laughs> All right. And then, oh, motherfucker. I'm, it's a disadvantage, right? Yeah. I don't want it to be. <laughs> oh, well. All right. <coughs> oh, good rolls as well. All right. Two. Oh, come on! Well, right, one of them hit. Only the 24 hit. As you drive Angel's Bane straight through King Ranmar. The, uh... <laughs> The Sphere of Darkness conveniently moves off to the side so everyone can see this <laughs> because it's chaotic energy as you drive Angel's Bane through Ranmar's chest and he looks down and looks up and pushes the blade out of him leaning right in your face, Raxer doll. Face two, motherfucker. Like I said, boy, while my city stands... I am forever. And every wound on Ranmar's body closes up. I pull Angel's Bane out. This might take a while. Alright. Sphere of Darkness conveniently goes right back into place. <laughs> right. I'm so glad it's a sphere of uh, dramatic timing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it understands there's part and parcel of fighting in D&D, &D, and that is dramatic monologues. God, yes. <laughs> All right. So Ari sees this and is like, well, shit, I don't want to keep fighting this guy if he'll keep getting back up, and starts racking her brain for Arcana to try and think of, okay, so how the fuck do we kill him? Uh, oh. Ari racks her brain is not quite getting anything so she just like looks out the window away from the fight trying to not get distracted by sphere of darkness and clang clang slashing sounds alright so it is King Ranmar's turn now because Ari doesn't want to do anything in the sphere of darkness but she can't see you guys mhm mm Understandable. Uh, so two great sword attacks, one at Raxadol and one at Corellian, as he just swings wildly. That is a miss <laughs> at Raxadol, and I that's also a miss on Corellian. I'm not even gonna put disadvantage on those because he <laughs> they both miss anyway. Yeah. So uh he also can't <laughs> use the other part of his multi-attack because he can't see! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're great. Damn, Dude. Momo was thinking about dispelling the magical darkness, but with this, I mean, why should he? <laughs> All right, Malafane, you're no longer on fire. Cool. Is the bench still on fire? The bench is still on fire. Cool. As long as the arrows still impose, dis impose advantage, then I can just, no, no, you know... No. no, 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 I can shoot at neutral. Arrows that are not meant to be on fire are disadvantage. Wait, What? Disadvantage. I think you misheard me, Scott. Yeah. Fuck. I thought He's I was on to something. I thought I was on to something. Throw the bench at him! It's still, <laughs> it's still really sick if they hit, though. It's still really cool, though, so... Mm. Welp. Time for plan B. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm just Leroy Jenkins. Well, no, I guess I can still just kind of shoot at him with disadvantage. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> you just kind of shoot blindly into the sphere of darkness. I don't really have many other options at the moment. No, regardless of what I do, it's going to be disadvantageous. Um, but I will stand here next to Momo so that if he does want to think of anything, I can give him the help action. Okay. Or I can help him. Um, 
So yeah, let's just wing it and hope for the best. Ha, wing it. Wing it. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot now. Pew pew. Pew pew. Ooh, Disgusting. One actually hit. Nice! Somehow you actually hit. Did two hit? Somehow you actually hit both of those! Ooh! And I believe that sneak attack too, no, because it someone's What? Sneak attack is not triggered if disadvantage is given. Ah, I did not know that. It does not say that anywhere, but whatever. Yeah, I think it's like if disadvantage is given, all these conditions for sneak attack don't apply. Yep. Interesting. All right. Well, um, in that case, well, I don't really need to hide since he can't see shit. So I will just kind of stand here patiently and look to Momo and be like, so I didn't see any of that, but I assume he's still standing. You got a better idea? And wait for his turn. All right, Corellian, you feel a surge of chaotic energy. I feel a surge of chaotic energy as I go into the d -d -d dex area. I won! <laughs> Roll, baby, let's go. <laughs> what did we get? Big oh, sky. An eagle crashes through the window. <laughs> <laughs> Flying to Corellian despite the sphere of magical darkness. It opens its mouth and a pre-recorded message is like, Congratulations and welcome to Big Sky Delivery Service. Though you have shit reception down here, we can deliver any message you want. Give me a moment <laughs> to think about this, because I actually- There are a lot of options here that I'm considering. Um... That fucking eagle mean? still has to get back to me on my fucking father. Yeah. Alright, one second. You have one new message. Malphane, are, are you doing alright? Uh, oh! uh, please, ah! please tell me you haven't gotten into any trouble while I'm away. But I will admit I did get into some, but I believe it's over now. And I am on my way back, uh, hopefully with something that can help your mother. Oh, he doesn't know! No! He's fucking alive! He's alive! I was going to reveal that in the very last episode, but you know what? <laughs> the magic of the cards, baby! <laughs> the chaos oh, of the hell, cards! The magic Let's punch! <laughs> Fuck me! Oh my god! <laughs> Uh, out of out of character, out of character. Do you guys want to send a message to someone? Uh, because K would K would gladly give it to like Rax if he wants to send a message to like his kids or something, or Malafane if he wants to send a message back to his dad. K doesn't really have anyone that he'd want to send a message to who isn't already down in your room. <laughs> so, um, Rax would. Rax would let uh, Malphane have it. Because that's a big hit. Fuck. Give me a moment to think about this. <laughs> uh, 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 hold, please. Uh, just get, give him a second. You know, connection spotty and all that. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, understood. <laughs> I will be waiting right here, says the big sky <laughs> eagle, T-posing by the window. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> ah, window, you said. Momo can see Malphane kind of just like, oh. sl just patiently kind of just lay against the wall, kind of just rocking himself for a moment. Corellian oh. wants to try to manhandle the king out the window with him. Oh, good. Uh, all right. It's gonna be an opposed <laughs> grapple check. Excellent, and because I have Vow of Enmity up, I should actually be able to do this not at disadvantage. So that is athletics, I believe? Yes. Fuck me, sideways! <laughs> uh, no! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, do I, I have inspiration, I'm gonna re-roll it. Okay. Good job. Ooh, nice. <laughs> that will make it a success as you, like... Grab onto the king, sensing out his location with your vow of enmity, and just hold firm as he swings his great sword around, trying to hit you. Fine. While the city stands, let's see how it's fucking stood. And, uh, Kay is gonna try and go out the window with him, if possible. 
All right. Uh, I don't think you have the speed for that while you're dragging. Someone, uh, so. I got five, ten. I think I technically could make fifteen, but if a window is even more difficult, then window's going to be difficult. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We can wait on that. All right. Cool. Uh, since Momo is commiserating with Malafane, I'm going to have this be the time when Malafane feels the surge of chaotic energy. Oh, oh boy! This can only get better slash worse. <laughs> me, oh my god. Okay. okay. Deck Happy of magic times. Games. Oh, but is it? Maybe. <laughs> I paladin. don't remember what this one does. All right. Uh, climbing up another window is a badger who, a very large looking badger, uh? who just stares at me and is like, it's about fucking time you pulled this card again. <laughs> I don't have a badger. Ready? <laughs> Remind me again who this is. It's been a while. Go, Go fuck, fuck yourself. yourself. Go fuck yourself. Uh, now... Was it Quintessa who named him, or it was, was it Quintessa? Rexadala? I can't remember. It was, okay. I thought it was Scam. It was, it was Quintessa. I, Rex just hears this turn- well, he can't see, but... He senses. <laughs> what was that? I'm a bad That better not be that ho- A bat. We've had an octopus. We've had many a thing. A fucking Her? badger! No, that Correct. wasn't a question, it was a statement! Mm. Mm -hmm. Fuck off, Malafane! Okay. No, don't Aren't you fuck still up. in magical darkness, Rock? <laughs> it like, doesn't mean he can't hear anything, it means he can't yeah. see anything. Yeah. Oh god, that's I'm even sorry, worse. I can't he hear you, my eyes are badger. closed! <laughs> <laughs> just hears that it's a badger, it's even worse, oh god. That's so Anyways, good. Fuck off, Malafane. Okay. No, don't fuck up. Why? We don't need a badger! Oh, sure, that's what they all say. You don't need a badger. And then I send back to heaven, and they're like, No, Celestial Emissary, come back! But it's too late, they insulted the fucking badger! Bitch. It's a fucking Celestial Badger, I'm going to die. <laughs> Please don't. None of your room kills you first. <laughs> all right. All right. So, Momo. Uh, yeah. Momo is... As much as people seem to, uh, be having a good time in the darkness, what he's going to do is... He is going to use his last channel divinity to do... Actually, let me, let me just double check, uh, some distance here real quick. Uh, yeah, Let's that's go. fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, he's going to use Radiance of the Dawn. And that will be... He'll center it here. Bam! So, uh, goodbye, Magical Darkness. Yay! Each hostile must make a con save. Okay. Ho -ho. Damn, 21, that's nice. 21 Radiant Damage, baby, let's go. 21 Radiant Damage as it sears onto the side of King Ranmar's face. Excellent. And that will be... That'll be Momo's turn. Cool. Rax it all. Get back here! <laughs> I'm trying to do something, Rax. I'm, I'm helping. Yeah. You're taking him away <laughs> okay. from Slaughter! I know you can't hear me, so I'm just gonna call you a bunch of mean words! Alright, help me get him out- get him fucking out of this window. Oh, fine. Um, what do I roll? Athletics. He cannot match that, so... <laughs> Alright. You grab onto King Ranmar and give Corellian an extra bit of hoisting to get uh, King Ranmar up to the window. To the window! To the window! To the wall. So what, are we pushing him out? We're showing him that his city no longer stands. Alright, yeah. I'll force his face to look out then. Bam! It's actually... All right. Oh, creatures, you think manhandling me will do any good? Look at the ruins of your city. Look at the fact that there's nothing fucking left, nothing but despair and decay. You are nothing, and this city is dead. And you 
did this. I'm going to need you to make a persuasion. Fuck, I used my inspiration previously. <sighs> uh, it says that people, other people wait, can give... Uh, wait, other wait, Players wait. can give other players pers uh, the, 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 the inspiration. Um, 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 um. I have advantage on persuasion checks made to interact with dwarves. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, oh, <laughs> please, please don't fuck me. Please don't fuck me. Please don't fuck me. Come on, you can do this. Yes! <laughs> That's so good. That's pretty decent. I just poked myself in the Wait, eye. Is it <laughs> I'm so excited. All right. Oh, wonderful. So, uh, as you just spit this out uh, at Ranmar, he stares out into the ruins of Yolrium, sees from his position no longer the polished exteriors of the castle district, the ones that were polished to a, a near vein sheen, basically, but the destruction, decay, and death of everything below him. You can hear some ragged breaths coming from the king, and then the clatter of his great sword falling to the ground. I was not a good king. All I wanted was for my city to live. But this is not living. May I at least turn to look at you. Kay, Kay lets him, and if he's having trouble standing, Kay mm -hmm. will prop him up. Alright. He's not having trouble standing, but he okay. does turn to look at both of you in the eyes, or the mask, as it were. Uh, perhaps my guess was wrong. You are men of virtue. He then turns back to look at the window. Gets down on his knees. You, the knight, you wanted that sword to kill me. I. That is its purpose. While I live, my city cannot fall. It has teetered for long enough. So as I look upon that. One last time, please, do your duty. He grabs the hilt, he raises the blade. Maybe once upon a time you were an honorable king. Now go, return to your kingdom, steps down. You just run King Ranmar straight through, and he slumps over, sliding down Angel's Bane's blade until he collapses limply onto the floor. The king of your room is dead. Pulls out. That was an excellent slaughter, says Angel's Bane, ruining the moment. <laughs> Um, he doesn't say anything in return. He just sighs. <sighs> well, I mean, we all know what it's like to protect a land you love. <sighs> Shame. You okay, you okay can protect. Yeah, fine. Just, um... If he protected his city with all the fervor he had when it was dead, when it was alive, then... Perhaps this wouldn't have come to pass. Yeah. This seems like a whole heaping helping of fuckery, says go fuck yourself the badger. <laughs> You're not kidding. It just turns around! Oh, you actually... <laughs> yeah, of course I'm actually a badger. What, do you think a celestial emissary would lie? That's evil, man. 
So what's your name, Great Badger? Well, they told me to call me Go Fuck Yourself, so I guess that works. I just turned to Corelli. <laughs> Kay just shrugs because I actually don't think he had, like, any part of this bullshit nonsense. He was busy dealing with, like, other things down underneath uh, Ash and Allura at the time. Uh, other things being bees, etc. So, like... Kay just like shrugs and just listen. Um, I I summon my own celestial being, who is Mosca and who is a very good girl. I don't really, I don't really know. Actually, do you? Just out of curiosity, have you ever run into a spirit, a celestial spirit named Mosca? Just asking oh, for a friend. Oh yeah, she's real nice, fun at parties. <laughs> God, I love her so awesome much. Awesome and twister. Yeah, I could see that. Anyway, um. Okay, like, waves it away. Right. <laughs> um... Well, after that shenanigan, I'll look at Angel's Bane. And he'll just say this out loud, he just goes... Well, there you go, Angel's Bane. Your duty is complete. And your purpose is fulfilled. Did you want to slay more kings after this, or are you good? Well... How about an evil mind flayer first? Is he kingly? Just about. Acceptable! And then he just chuckles a bit and just goes, I'm proud of you. I'm also proud of me! I slaughtered I... so well! I know. Thought so. <laughs> well, you don't need me to tell you anything then. Let's go to the next challenge. Um, before we do, yes, I believe there's a there's an eagle sitting out here. Oh shit! Ah, uh, Malifan, <laughs> it's all you. Malifan walks up to the eagle and ah! speaks to it. <laughs> This is a return message to Viole Lithos. <clears throat> Sorry I haven't responded in a while. While I was in Asher Nalora, I was informed that you were shipwrecked, so I assumed that you were... Well, it's good to hear from you. The man who played a part in Mother's Demise is part of a much greater ordeal. What? What? I'm doing the T-posing eagle pose in webcam. I see. I see. <laughs> Sorry. The man who played a part in Mother's Demise was part of a greater, a greater plan. He has since fallen, but the figurehead he partnered with still remains, an Illithid. He plans to bring Irion, no, the realm to ruin. The group that I informed you of in my previous letters, they're strong, reliable allies. We plan to stop him. We're down here below, the sea level. I don't have any plans on perishing here. I will see you when I return. Love Message you. received. Thank you for using Big Sky Delivery Service. Ah! And the eagle flies out the window. It's <laughs> a strange delivery service. Well... It's good to know he's alive, at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. <sighs> he pats Mal on the shoulder. <laughs> Thanks. And thank you, Corellian. Hmm? What? Uh, Kate, Kate just sort of, like, does a double take. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, no problem. Uh, I mean, you had a message after all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like Rex said, I suppose we have another challenge to conquer. <clears throat> Shall we get moving? <sighs> moving Hi? to yeah. where? Says Ari, looking around and noticing there's the door by her and there is a door behind the throne. Oh, it's the... Listen. Private kingly chambers, absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, is there any loot around? 
Sounds like that's an investigation. Oh my god, let's go, Ooh. lesbians! Let's okay. fucking go! Opens the door and heads into the an private chambers. Wait, an investigation check or an investigation period? Investigation check. Okay, one second. I don't want to investigate any periods, thank you. All right, so, Gosh. Malifane, you start a thorough investigation of the throne room and the private kingly chambers, which are very, very fancy looking, uh, the top quality furniture. Doesn't look like it's decayed at all uh, since the fall of your room. Raxadol, in your investigation... Oh, god damn it, Raxadol, be on No, me. I'm hit. Don't Rax worry. <laughs> Raxadol, you feel a surge of chaotic energy. Oh, in okay. Well, I was going to go hydrate, but I shall dehydrate to roll this. <laughs> All right. Oh, Stay again, hydrated, then. Unless it's your turn to draw a chaos card. The foreign Ooh. trader. Okay. All right. The foreign trader. I believe this is the jewels one. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Electrum. Money. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to <laughs> open up. <laughs> <laughs> open up the treasure handbook I have and see how much particular jewels are worth. It might take a little bit, unfortunately. Right. So, da da da. All right. So, rolling in to jewels and specialized things. Who needs water when you got money? Money. Hmm. All right. So. So. Oh, damn it, I need to scroll back up because it, <laughs> it went somewhere way far beyond where I wanted to check out. <laughs> Math is fun when you're looking things up. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So. Rex it all. As you investigate, you hear a thump behind you. And you turn around and behind you is just this 100 pound lump of pure electrum. I hate you. I just give it the most withering stare in the world. The electrum does not stare back because it's an inanimate object. <laughs> how? You have to mute for a moment, but holy shit. Okay, you said 100 pound, like how tall is it? Uh, electrum's metal, so it's pretty heavy, so. Not very tall, I think. Is it like just a mass of it? Just the solid <laughs> lump yeah. of electrum, yes. It's like everyone's investigating in the bedroom. You just hear from the other room, What the fuck do I do with this? Can Malafane take it and store it in the electrum box? <laughs> no, it's too um, big. <laughs> as, as for what you can do with it, you could put it in the bag of holding. Momo, like, opens the bag of holding that Gookmek gave him. Just face, like... You stuff a hundred it. pounds of electrum. <laughs> just, like, jams it holding. in. <laughs> right, I'll just, uh, make note that that's yours. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah. Very good. Yeah, that's right. very Fucking heavy. welcome. Uh, <laughs> Not my problem. And now I'll go get water. <laughs> cool. In the meantime, Bellafane... You do a thorough investigation of the throne room and the king's chambers. Uh, in the throne room, you find, like, a hidden lever off on one arm of the throne that, when pulled back, slides the throne backwards with this grinding... Oh. ...and reveals this long staircase leading straight downward. Ah. Yeah. Because you got 30 investigation... <laughs> And the DC check for finding the king's vaults is 30. <laughs> uh, Yo. Yo. Yeah. You do a very thorough search of the room and you find this innocent looking cloth bag. And you're like, huh, wait a second. That looks a little less fancy than the rest of the stuff in this chamber. And you start realizing, wait, this is also a bag of holding. So Yo. you open up the bag of holding and dump out everything it has onto <sighs> the floor, revealing <sighs> part of the vaults of the king of your room. Let's oh. go. 
I can't click on it. We oh, double we click. Whoa! Whoa! Goggles of night. I, oh, right. Holy I, have, shit. I have not hidden any of these because I don't want to spend a whole lot of time identifying. But for those of you who are in the chat, inside <laughs> are 1,500 platinum pieces, 11,000 gold pieces, a crystal necklace set with citrine, goggles of night, a leopard fur mask inlaid with silver, an immovable rod, Kea Tom's ointment, a potion of growth, two potions of healing, a potion of necrotic resistance, a spell scroll for shield of faith, a wand of magic detection, the bag of holding itself, boots made of purple dragon scale, a fine steel cloth coat, and a silver censer. All in all, worth 14,580 gold. That's a haul, baby. That is your fucking treasure haul. Holy oh shit. Oh my god. Uh, Goggles of Night don't need attunement, right? Goggles of Night? What are you thinking? Uh, I, don't I shove so. them in Momo's face since he's the only one uh, who doesn't have night vision not required. Good call. Good call. Yeah, let's go! Nice. Uh, Momo takes them. Um, I don't want to hit loot item because I don't know which character sheet it'll go to. I'm so it'll sorry. Probably go to Corellian. Okay, well, Momo will take the goggles of night then. God. Uh, well. I will move <sighs> goggles of night over to Momo. <coughs> the... You know, ever since you mentioned the fact of the whole aesthetic thing. I'm kind of really tempted to, if we have the opportunity, go back and uh, rebuy those purple dragon scale greaves, all things considered. You mind if I take these boots for now? I sent them back oh. to the elemental plane of fire. Shit. <laughs> they're, my, well, they're my greaves now. I'm, we, we'll, maybe we can negotiate something. Either way, dragon scale boots are pretty sick. Uh, Kate wants to take those. <laughs> all right. Hmm. Ointment. Ointment. As an action, one dose of the ointment can be swallowed or applied to the skin of a creature that receives it. Ooh. Ooh. No poison, cured of any disease. That is nice. 120 Action's GP per dose. So, hmm. how much bullshit do you think you could get up to with <laughs> an immovable rod, Malathane? Let me look at this again. Sorry, because I. You just press the button, which costs another immovable rod. You you oh, use we're the first stacked, two. baby. We're fucking stacked. Yeah, check, that, that check out the treasure. Check that hoard, baby. Fuck me. This is fucking cool. hot. <laughs> <laughs> I have a grappling hook that can hold up to 1,000 pounds of weight, or something like that. I don't remember. And this would add. Uh, wow, okay. Unless I yeah. still have the immovable okay. rod, which I don't remember. Let me you look. don't. It is down underneath uh, your room holding shit open so that we could have swam through so we didn't Excuse drown. me while I take that. It was either that or if, on the very off chance, Xander managed to show up for the last session, I would be like, yo, you should give it to him, because that'd be some fucking bullshit that Scam would get up to, but mm. nah, you should take that. <laughs> Wand of Magic Detection, that's what? pretty hot, too. That's cool. Wait. Yo, you gotta, you gotta get in this fucking, you gotta get in this fucking loop, baby. This is good shit. Yeah, I'm looking at it. It regains charges at dawn. I mean... Listen, if anyone else wants it, they can, but as a rogue, a someone who is constantly looking for shit, you um, know. You I, know. Can, I can take it, then. If you want. Oh. Okay. If you want it, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying you didn't want it, sorry. <laughs> I was saying unless someone else really wanted it, then K I would. K just reaches out and just Takes the potion of growth. <laughs> Just sort of slides it. As far as the actual items are concerned that aren't potions or... 
yeah. other stuff, that is what Mal will take. All right, I'll take the potion <laughs> of necrotic resistance because that's spicy. G give me it. Although I do have all the potions of healing at the moment, so may as well just add that to the stack. Sure. Uh, You're the one who's the fastest at yeah, you yeah, know yeah, moving yeah. and administering them. So who wants to take that ointment? Because that looks like it could be. We have a couple people that don't have resistances or anything like that. Uh, Momo now has the disease stuff due to the plague mask, so he's got that going. Okay. K's K's fine. Paladin shit. Uh, so um, it's between you two. Sure, I'll take it with me because Rax has been poisoned a few times. In the That's past. fair. All right, gimme, give gimme. Give and then I already... Oh, I don't have Shield of Faith, but I've already got a Shield spell. I almost want to give... Just because Momo already has the mask, I kind of want to give him the Leopard Fur mask as well. Um, I don't I don't think you can actually cast Shield of Faith since it's not on your spell list. That's how spell scrolls work. It has to be on your spell list in order for you to be able to use it. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, it says, to me. Here's what it says. Sorry. It says... A wizard spell on a spell scroll can be copied just as spells in spell books can be copied, but you have to I make that. you have to succeed on an arcana check. Uh, if, in order. if you okay, look at right. the if you look at the description, if the spell is on your class's spell list, you can use an action to read the scroll. Yeah. Otherwise, the oh. scroll is unintelligible. On your class, I don't spell suppose list. that counts for magic initiate. I doubt it does. Are you a cleric magic initiate? No, it's a wizard magic initiate. Then no. <laughs> Shield of faith is not a wizard spell. Jill oh, I don't know why I thought that. Spell. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, sorry. Well, that's up for grabs for anyone then who can cast it. <laughs> um, fuck. Um, I'll you take it. Then. Uh, actually, yeah. uh, oh. spell scrolls don't actually require you to maintain <coughs> concentration, don't they? Do they? No, no. I don't think so. Think so? Yeah. Fuck. In that case, uh, Kay will take that shit. Because while he does a lot, have a lot of other stuff, he can have concentration on. Uh. Yeah, Do you also yeah. want the idea. dragon scale boots? Uh, yeah, let me loot those real fast. Yeah. It has been done. Anything else? I'm not smart. What's so, a sensor again? Uh, scrolls do require concentration. They just re uh, replace the material components. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> uh, in that case, it could be passed around if necessary, but I think... Out of the two of us, Momo has more spell slots, so yeah. Um, a sensor is like, it's one of those things that holds the incense. If you've ever seen like a um, orthodox sort yeah. of ceremony or stuff like that, it's that like okay. ball on a chain that smokes and stuff. That. Okay. Yeah. I think the um, other stuff is mostly like art and uh, sell shit for money items. Yeah, so, I remember I... Remember I got that one card that um that allowed for like a new outfit or something like that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Jesus, that was so long ago. <laughs> I know, and I never <laughs> used it. But I think I know what I want to use it on now. I'm gonna get a brand new coat! <laughs> I'll send Fine, the cloth coat. I'll send the reference to my fellow my uh my artist buddy. Your artist <laughs> companion. <laughs> Lad. You still have a bag of holding, which is yeah. a wondrous item, I remind people. Yes. Um, um well, I guess I guess Momo like sort of like goes to like take the I, fucking hundred pound <laughs> thing of electro about it, be like well, you've got a bag of your own now, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, grabs the bag. Yeah, grabs the bag, puts it in, looking at Momo with pure <laughs> spite. <laughs> what? What did I do? <laughs> um, Momo is genuinely confused. Like, what the fuck? I was helping you out, dude. Like, why are you <laughs> like this, TM? For the sake of... um. I'm, Nothing. May I make a suggestion? For the sake of just letting the story move forward, let's just uh, pretend that the rest of the items we haven't looted yet are now in the bag of holding and we can divvy yeah, them up later. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Uh, Art items. Ari takes the other bag of holding. If I'm going to be down here risking my life, I also want some money. Fair enough. You're sure. so right. She gets, she gets a fucking share. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Ari, get some fucking money! 
Woo! Money. Uh, All right, money. we gonna split the money then. Yes. <laughs> right. Money. I'm just assuming Ari has been taking a share of other treasure so that she can distribute it to sure. everyone else who's come down here. Yes. Good I'll have plan. a better method of giving companions money and experience in the next campaign. We've That's got to good. have money. I already have a character ready for that. Nice. It'll be a while. So I, That's fair. That's fair. So, uh, question down the staircase, down. Down the staircase. Does that yeah. seem to be the way we should be going, or? I don't really see any other entrances, and considering. I think this is our best bet. That was out of character, but. Oh. All right. I, no, no, I you're, rolled a, you're I rolled fine. a 30 I in investigation. I rolled, listen, I'm, I rolled a 30 yeah. in investigation. <laughs> I will, I will then respond in character. Well, if you, um, I mean, something that's well concealed, I wouldn't put it past Wrinkle to be down there, if anywhere. <sighs> what, what, you know, how else, how much more could you be protected by a king other than, you know, below his throne room, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Actually, before we before we go, do we need any healing or anything like that? I um hardly. I'm a bit battered. Now would I'll be, be the time, fine. says Ari. Yeah. yeah. Do you want a short rest or just take potions or something? I uh, a short rest would be like an hour. I don't today. know if we yeah. have an hour, so. How yeah. battered are you, my dude? Um, <laughs> no, I'm on a hundred of 124, and I've just used my second wind. K just gives you 24 points using his lay on hands. Thank you, my darling. Aww. But there's no sense it. in wasting spell slots, that's for sure. No, true. Mm -hmm. Uh, so... And then Kay will also heal themselves up. Let me just double check how much that will be. Let's see. Yeah, Kay will use 25 as well on himself so that he's All back right. up to full. Can we add uh, this to the loot? The King's Vault to the loot tab, by the way? Uh, Sure, yeah. Thank you. All right. It's gonna have that weird, uh, weird thing where it shows the full loot, even though you already looted it, though. So, ah, uh, right. fair. We'll uh, we'll have to write. Uh, you know what? Let's write down somewhere that what we have not looted yet. Okay. I'll just dilute from the. I'll delete rather from delete. the address being fault, so. <laughs> so, um. You think this is it then? <sighs> Seems that way. Yep. <sighs> well. It's been an honor, I guess. Once more in the hell we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we'll manage to claw our way out. Yes. We fight with everything. Yeah. Till our last breath. And if we don't, hopefully you and the rest manage to as well. <laughs> or manage to get out of here, I mean. Hopefully, yes. And, um, Ari, I just, if things get to be too much for you, please just go. I said I was going to make that bastard pay, Tim. <laughs> you did. I just wanted to let you know that option was on the table. Thank you very much, but at the same time, if I go... I don't think I'm going to make it particularly far. 
considering what we're up against. <laughs> True. <laughs> Fair. <sighs> Let's do well, this. Now is not the time for regrets. We look forward now. <laughs> for Irion's future. For our futures. And for, for our Irion. family's futures. For everyone. For everyone. Everyone and more. Okay, we'll sort of gesture Malifane to go down first since he's the sneaky lad, but... And I, I think Kay will probably bring up the rear at this point, but down we go. All right. <clears throat> down you go. You descend the long and winding staircase. As you go further and further down into the rockwork, it twists and warps some more into something that looks man-made. That's the best adjective you can use to describe it. Uh, the... What was unpolished rock goes into, like, polished and metallic surfaces, mostly green and black, and you can hear bubbling and hissing as you go further down. Finally, the stairs get to a landing, and you head down a corridor and look out at this series of pod-like chambers with all sorts of alien devices scattered around, some, like, bolted into the walls. Some are just tubes going in and out of the ground. And you believe you have found yourself in the lair of the Mind Flayer. Well, didn't expect the best conditions, but bloody hell. Certainly didn't waste time redecorating the place, says Ari. Nothing but some more science experiments, I guess. Do any of the pod, the the like pods and stuff like that, <clears throat> they they they're mostly just devices. There don't seem to be any like living things in them or anything like that, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, make a perception check. Sure, so I'm make great a perception at perception check for me. Sure, I will do that, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Can oh, you... wait, that's right. Someone else is making it other than me. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Perception check, baby. Maybe I can Mal make this. Like Mal got a 23. He's 23. fine. Oh, okay. He's fine. All right. Malfane, you look into the pods. Uh, they're either empty or completely solid. You don't see any signs of life inside them. You do hear some arcane <coughs> chanting coming from somewhere to the southeast. And as you look in that direction you see this, like, rainbow of glowing colors flashing from deeper within the chambers of the Mind Flayer. Um, mm -hmm. Momo is going to hit you with Guidance, Malfane, so you get your 1d4. And uh, out of character, my suggestion, as always, is you're the best at this if what? you think you can get a look ahead then by all means you're the one of us who has the best chance of doing so oh the right last you. oh the last episode i attempted this it went horribly wrong but this time I it's swam. okay you have a 1d4 <laughs> what could possibly I'm go sure. wrong oh fuck you atwas who's atwas <laughs> anyway anyway uh, I can't Only roll a rogue a could roll a 7 and get a 22 total. I can't roll like a, a d4 one. modifier. Whoop whoop. Because uh, the I'll map hasn't it. loaded yet. Oh, uh, do you want to use a d4 on a 22 or no? Uh, maybe no. Mm. It would help. Because you, could, you could use it uh, at anything you do in the next minute, so. That is true. But, mm, mm. Always better safe than sorry. Yep. 
Okay, I can roll a 1d4 for you then, since I am controlling Momo Vol. Thank you. You got a three, so that is 25. Hey. All right, and with that, I will scout ahead into the unknown. I I don't know what I'm looking at, but uh, whatever it is, you know, I I will scout ahead. So Southeast. Mm, southeast, thank you. I am turning southeast. Uh, can I get a hold of my character, please? Please? No, not allowed. No, apparently not. Uh, I really can't get a hold of my character. Wow. Do you, do you want a screenshot, or would you be opposed to someone moving him vaguely southeast? Oh, here we go. Oh, yes! Okay. Perception. No, 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 I still can't see the map, but I have a, I have control of my character sheet again. Excellent. Which is something. Something. That's something. Um, is hardware acceleration off? It's the same as it was before, so, you know, whatever we did Probably before. Probably still on, which means your computer just hates you. Mm. I'm going to... I have a perf- I have a familiar. I have a familiar. They can help me look. Are you my only? Only no. a rogue will roll a four, get an eighteen, and be like, "I need advantage." <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if it's not in the, tw- it didn't help either way. But it it's not in the twenties, any buddy friend pal. Rogues are disgusting anyway. <laughs> Yeah. I, I say that with all the affection in the world. No, I know. Man, I know. imagine having reliable talent. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Anyway. All right. Melophane, you start creeping towards the southeast, hoping to get a better look at whatever is there. Uh, you cannot quite get the proper angle. The pod chambers are arranged in such a way that to get a good look, you'd have to go directly into the next one to the southeast up some stairs um well the last time i went up some stairs i was immediately spotted (laughs) and using a familiar does not help so you said that there was a spectrum of colors or something like that right yes um is there any significance to that, or...? Uh, a lot of purples, some blacks, some blues, some greens, some reds, just flashing intermittently. Those don't exactly seem like safe colors. <laughs> um... Nothing that is described as flashing is a safe color. <laughs> granted, <laughs> granted, but if my, te- if my experience with the... If my experience with the Gore Walkers and the and the Scarlet Snakes has taught me anything, those colors in particular are not safe. Um, they are not. They don't seem, on a surface level, at the very least, magic in nature, do they? That shit is very magical looking. Cool. Okay, we're already at the end game. I may as well use this. Uh. I'm going to use that wand of detect magic, just in case. Wand of magic detection. Bippity boppity boop, baby. (laughs) Yeah. I can't cast it for some reason, but you know I'm using it. All right. The wand of magic detection goes, woo, 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 (laughs) one pointed (laughs) towards the southeast. It's going fucking crazy. (laughs) Uh, I and it goes back in my pocket. As I need to double check what kind of spell it would first ping. No, not Redwood Expansion. What the fuck? What the fuck is Redwood Expansion? All right. Uh, it is pinging. Oh, come on, what's the? What's this? There we go. That's the spell school. It is pinging conjuration, 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 conjuration. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Back in you go, back in you go. You slide the wand back in and hold your breath. Oops. 
And then you hear, in the distance, muffled by some walls, Bong! Bong! Is it getting closer? No, it's just two bells ringing. Okay. Um, I suppose I'd want to get a better look at that. Um, did what, they sound like bells, I'd assume? They sounded like bells. Like toll bells, or just bells? Like the summoning bells you've been ringing. Oh. Oh, there's more of them. Malafane whispers into the ring. Someone else here has their own summoning bell. Or something of the like. You heard, I don't know if you heard that, but that sounds all too familiar. Unless you say no right now, we're going in after you. I don't see any reason not to. I haven't been detected yet, but I don't think this is good news. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, backup might be assured. All right. Either we back you up or... Okay, like, kind of looks to the uh, northeast as well. We could try and flank. Up to you. How stealthy is Ari again? I got literally same brain cell. Ari has an exter- Oh, Ari has a stealth of plus eight. Ooh. Momo will slap a guidance on her. No questions asked. Have her follow me and then the rest can flank, perhaps. Okay. Oh, I, I, I was going to say maybe it would be better to have her check up north to see if there oh. actually was a flanking path. Because mm. okay. that was like an assumption on my part. That makes Sorry. Sense. No, 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 it's okay. Oof. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. It's a shame she's in a rogue and doesn't have stupid fucking... Mm. All right. Could someone give her advantage and be like, no, no, your other right? I literally, there's no way I could possibly give Same. her advantage. I wear plate armor. <laughs> I I don't looking at Momo. Momo doesn't have he he doesn't he doesn't have proficiency in stealth. So I don't really see any way he could give her advantage. But I think he'd try and maybe at least go to like the corner so he could be within sight of her. But past that, it's all her. All right. Ari peeks around the northern chamber and sees. Are you enjoying your little escapade so far? You all look in that direction, and Kulador the Mind Flayer is there, with some clanking golems, flanking him on either side. So we going in? Oh, by all means, come in. I know you're there. Does he know all of us are here, or...? Well, one follows, so must the others, Malafane, he says, staring across the chamber at you. Fuck. You rolled a 26 perception. No, oh, I got the nice. Oh. <laughs> Kay, Kay, like, uh, Kay, Kay will absolutely, like, move forward and take a look at these beauties. Right. Shiny. Yeah. Kulador. The mind player you met in the market of your room is there with shimmering psionic knives at his hands and golems made up of shields, pieces of armor, and crossbows pointing their fists at you, crossbows at the ready. Um. You then hear a voice behind you towards the southeast. Now, you traipsing around in temples and gatehouses is one thing, but this is our domain and you... I've been interfering for long enough. And you turn around, and Grofrex is there. Page golems flanking them. Mm -hmm. Wait. Where one goes, others must follow. We, we took care of the other two, my, my guy. No. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Sorry. I yeah, don't you suppose you're joined by I don't suppose you're joined by him, are you? He is busy finishing up the ritual. We 
They'll be finishing you. <laughs> Mighty words. You're outnumbered, Malafane. We are more skilled than you are in the arts of magic and stealth. And we have golems backing us up. Even if you were to succeed against us, you would lose too much time. And your world Tell would fall to annihilation. Tell that to your companions that we killed. Hmm. Expendable. <laughs> and you to follow. Bold words. Well then. Uh, Grafrex and Kolador start charging up powerful psionic blasts. But then, from uh, up above you and behind towards the entrance, you hear a bang. Bang. Bam! As Prince Zordan drops from the ceiling, <laughs> crash out in the ground, yeah. getting Holy shot by a bunch God. of crossbow arrows, and standing Man. up. Good morning, everyone! <laughs> I'll allow it! Good morning! I'll allow it! Holy fuck! Oh. And also from behind you, you smell cigarette smoke. You motherfuckers Yay. didn't think I was gonna miss the party, did you? Well, you talk long enough. Yeah, fuck you! I had to walk up a fucking mountain! <laughs> Scab likely, I could kiss you right now, but I won't. We'll talk about it later. Anyway. Anywho. Yeah, uh, other people start dropping from the hole in the ceiling that Zordan made. Kailani slides <laughs> down first, followed by the Rat King over at uh, Zordan's side. As it, come on, reveal yourself, you fucker! There we go. At which point, uh, Solana <laughs> joins Kailani to face down the mage golems, along with uh, Zutzag, just taking position at the back, gun at the ready. Annabelle standing by, preparing some alchemy. And Remeg getting in, ready to throw down with anyone, because he's motherfucking fast. And also, behind them, you hear the braying of a mighty owl bear that goes tearing <laughs> towards Grafrex and the page golems. Well, so, I believe what was that about outnumbered? All... I was just about to say, <laughs> I was going to say like, well, I believe that's everyone. Now, what was that about being outnumbered? You still haven't dealt with the other problem. You could certainly <laughs> try to take us out. But like I said, the ritual's underway. You don't have the time. Zordan cracks his knuckles. I have all the time in the world. Go, my friends. You've your own mind flayer to deal with. <laughs> As he gets into a fighting position. What a lad. <laughs> Love this man. Uh, oh, which way is, is the problem? <laughs> Down this way past the owlbear. All right. Can we move now, then? You can move now, yes. Let's go, lesbians! We'll hold them up for as long as we can, says Solana. All right, all right. excuse me, I'll bet. <laughs> Let's do this. Kay just, like, looks at them all and just... <coughs> I love you all so much. And then heads mm. down. Thank you, my prepared. companions! I came prepared with all sorts of explosives. Let's blow some shit up. Oh, you fuck well yes. done. <laughs> all right. Ari slides along to join the rest of you as you head Fuck down yes. into the final chamber towards the chanting and the glowing and towards your final confrontation with Rancol, which is where we will end our session. <laughs> well, lads. We did it. That was we did it, Reddit. Pretty fucking cool. We fucking did it, Reddit. I am a There's goddamn no sucker flip. for hold the line and Gondor calls her aid moments. I yeah. am a simple man. <laughs> <laughs> a simple man with a simple plan, but God, as fit isn't fucking good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And and so next week, if all goes according to plan is the final episode, episode 149 of Fallen Empires. Oh, what it's a time. It's gonna be a fucking blast. 